For the past three years, Dr. Anna Spagnoli and her team of researchers at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill have been studying how transplanting adult stem cells can help fractures heal. The UNC researchers showed that the stem cells not only travel to the site of the fracture, but amazingly, they also improve the fracture's ability to heal. And what we found was that when we injected these cells in mice with broken bones, the cells went there and they made stronger bones. Spignoli injected mice with adult stem cells instead of embryonic stem cells because they're easier to manipulate. And she says a patient would only need as little as a teaspoon of bone marrow to have enough adult stem cells to improve a fracture. Adult stem cells are present in many tissues and um, we decide to use the adult stem cells that are from the bone marrow. The reason why we focus on the bone marrow was because uh, bone marrow is easily accessible. Dr. Spignoli believes scientists in the future can duplicate the results of this animal study in humans, moving it from the research lab to the clinic. Because we know that these cells are effective in animals, I think we can translate to patients very easily. Anne Wright, now in her mid-50s, has had bone fractures due to osteoporosis. She was first diagnosed at age 42. There are times when everything is just fine. You know, again, osteoporosis is a silent sort of thing. Until you hurt yourself, you, you, you don't know. Anne has had to make significant life changes, but with exercise and taking calcium supplements, she's found a way to live with her condition while still doing the things she loves most. She hopes the research being done at UNC will someday be helpful. Fractures hurt, I mean, for a good year. You know, I, you couldn't sleep on your stomach if you'd been a stomach sleeper. You couldn't sneeze. You couldn't cough without fractures hurting. If there was a way um, to mend them, that'd be fantastic. She should be very excited because now we have the scientific foundation to start doing clinical trial where she can be enrolled to use her own stem cells to improve her broken bones in case she doesn't heal. So what I see in the future is that these studies are moving on to move from broken bones to other tissue, more complicated tissue, more complex tissue, where actually we are, don't have the regenerative ability. I'm Stephanie Creighton reporting.